culture is often defined by one pole or another preference. In fact, the example that I hope to give when we come back after we hear from the group. I mean, it's it's it can be very frustrating too when you're working in a system where you do have a leader with outsized power and they're using it in a way that doesn't recognize or flex to the polarities that mm -hmm. maybe they should, or they would be better for the organization longer term if they did. So is understanding those polarities and helping them can be really, just understanding them can be very helpful in communicating differently if you're going to be more influential. So when you think about managing up, it's even kind of grasping at like, what is the problem? Like, why is it, why is it an issue if this person isn't listening to others and just going after X, kind of living into a command and control structure that's not letting people either feel safe or able to speak up, to innovate, to do their best work. And that kind of culture, one of my colleagues told me that's, that's where expertise goes to die. Because I had a friend who came in as an expert in the, in the, in the field, never seemed to accept recommendations or did what they wanted anyway. And so they left. Well, we need to wrap up the groups. We're yeah. Just... Mike, Michael, <laughs> are you going to debrief? Do you